What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new Unranked 2 Diamond episode. We have been in such a slump lately, but today we are getting out of here. I can feel it. Wow, no, my support pick Lulu. What the hell? He was hovering brand and I was like, yes, I like, can pick Ezreal. We can just poke the living crab out of everybody. Like Ezreal is, is really good with pokey supports and Lulu is really good with like auto attacking supports. And I'm not an auto attacking AD, so I don't really know what the theory behind this guy is. But... All right, fair enough. That's not the best start ever, but we're going to play better today. I'm going to not tilt. I'm going to have some more fun. We'll go into that a little bit later, though, once we actually get into the game. Their team is freaking nasty. No, thank you. Please. I don't want to play against that, but all right, I guess we're stuck with this game. Um, hopefully, it, it works and we're good. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm bringing out the big guns. We're bringing out Ezra on this account for now. I don't want to play my main main ADs on this account because I want to play them on my other account. But I think tonight, which will be my Road to Master video, instead of doing a Road to Master episode, I might do a kind of like a champion pool video. Maybe I'll release like, maybe I'll end up doing a champion pool video and my Road to Master video. Depends how much time I have. I don't actually know if I'm going to have time to do that, honestly. But uh, I mean, if I can do both, I guess I would do both, right? But... I don't know if I can three. That's like gonna be four videos in a day that I'll release. Like three on this channel and one on my main channel. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna die soon. But never mind. Okay, so let's look at the uh, matchups and stuff. So Brian and Tristana against Lulu and Ezreal. Now I don't really like Lulu because I don't think she offers very much in the lane phase unless you're quite aggressive. So we'll have to see like how good the Lulu actually is. I don't know if she's going to be uh, good enough or not, like, to actually do something in the lane phase. Who knows? Oriana Velkos, I think uh, Velk... Oriana probably does okay early, but I think Velkos will just, like, outrange, most likely. And also, I don't really like the Ignite on Oriana. Like, I don't feel like you're going to get close enough to Velkos to really kill him unless you do it early, which probably is not going to happen. Shivana, Jax, I don't know that matchup. I don't know how Shivana top is really. Warlords, I'm guessing, like, will be good if she goes relatively tanky, which would be nice. And then Hecarim, obviously, with Zack. Uh, Zack is a better tank, but Hecarim is more damage, so... I think Hecarim's okay, actually, still now. Don't see him as often, but he can still just pop off and be sick, so... We'll have to see how that goes. I'm not too sure, if I'm honest, how uh, that matchup is going to play out. But, I mean, Hecarim should be able to gank. I mean, Zack can gank a lot, as well, a lot as well, so who really knows. Anyway, welcome to everybody else. Let's jump into game. So, the first thing I'm going to say is, I think recently... My Unranked Diamond episodes have been uh, a little bit salty, I think is probably the right word. I've been frustrated. That's probably a better word. I'm like, my teams have been really bad, and I've kind of felt like, you know, I've been letting myself down because I can carry a lot of pressure on myself because I have the pressure to perform, I guess. It sounds so weird, but um, I've kind of, like, you know, been stressed and stuff while I'm playing them, but I just need to chill. Like, I'm just going to be happier, you know. I want you guys to have fun with me while I play this game. And so that's what it's going to be. Win or lose, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to just, like, focus on myself. Basically, when I started this channel, I think my videos were a lot, like, more fun and enjoyable to watch. I don't know. But, like, I feel like recently I've kind of, like, lost that element of it. So that's why I, I want to bring it back. So today we're going to... What better champion, I guess, to do that with than my main Ezreal, my lovely Ezreal. That's so, so weird as well. Um, we are with the Lulu today. Like, I don't know really... I don't really like that. And I don't like getting Pink Ward first base either because I feel like now... Brand's gonna poke Lulu and this is basically giving up the lane like so Lulu has one pot right and um That's weird Lulu has like one pot and brand is gonna have three so like unless Lulu can do three times the damage brand does I feel like that's kind of uh, not good and uh, Yeah, who knows so I guess like the other lanes are a bit weird Shivana I have no idea how that's gonna pan out Orianna if she gets the late game will be okay I guess as well um, But not really not really too sure and hopefully, this goes pretty well. But we can just farm, I guess. Like, I don't... Th oh, it's brand mid. Oh, it's Velcro support. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I didn't really think about that. Yeah, that's actually... Yeah, okay. I get that. I mean, I would have expected it more to be in the um, the brand here. But even so, I, like, I think that like, everything I just said, actually, stands still. But the good thing, I guess, in a way, with Velcos is that I can dodge his stuff a little bit easier now. Like, brand is quite hard to dodge his W because it's so big. Um, but like with the Velkos, you just dodge the geometry, right? Which I obviously didn't do there, but that was just me going a bit too aggressive, I think. One thing I need to do though, as well, I've, what I've kind of seen recently is my farm is tends to be pretty bad on this account. I don't really know why. Like, all of a sudden, my farm has been pretty terrible, but I think my farm just seems to be a bit better. And um, if I can work on my farm and stuff, that's the first like key, I guess, to 
really getting better and like actually you know I'm getting out of the slump really like I am in a slump right now um I actually want to go for this guy more than anything but we got some good poke down there it wasn't too bad whoa okay I don't feel like he had to flash there but okay that actually wasn't too bad really I, I shouldn't have gone there on my own because Lulu didn't actually like come with me to start with that uh, that that kind of sucked because I thought the Lulu was going to abuse the level 2 advantage. He didn't though, and so I ended up taking like loads of damage, which obviously was not ideal. Um, but, you know, that's not too bad, I guess. If he'd have hit that Q, I probably would have jumped in there to try and go. I don't know if Tristan still has healed, but I'm going to guess yes, he d does. Mm. This is kind of getting bad now because Velkos is still po poking me quite heavily. And I can't really poke him. It's going to be a waste, I feel like. Okay, I'm kind of watching the mid, the junglers here fight. Okay, I expected Hecarim to come down here. And, oh, he's really low. Okay. I feel like we win this. I don't know. Okay, maybe not then. I'm just going to preemptive flash here because if I don't preemptive flash, I think he's going to flash on me. But yeah, that, that went really super weird, actually. Oh wow, both our solo laners just got solo killed. That's really, really rough. Um, Hecarim's like pretty low, I feel like, right now. That was way too close to my liking right there. Nice. Go on, kill him! Oh, he's got no mana. Don't go near me, please. Don't go near me with that bomb. Just gonna, just in case. But the Hecarim is behind them, so... Hello, Hecarim? Hecarim, you pussy! You pussy! Hecarim's such a pussy, man! I'm I'm sitting here baiting for the for him to come down and kill this guy, and uh, yeah, I mean, <sighs> like Velkos has a health advantage, which is what I said actually by the way at the very start. Like because of the potion thingy, it, it meant that this guy has got just more. Okay, I'm gonna be careful that Triss doesn't turn and jump on me right now. Oh, okay, that's bad. Yep. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Like. That was way too long. He waited there. I can't really miss this CS. Oh, but they're actually going to stay. Like, really? I can't really miss this much. If I miss all of this, like, I'm just going to lose, I think. This experience is insane. I, I can't miss this. I really cannot miss this. I'm getting a little bit... I just need the experience. I don't even care about the gold. I don't even care about the gold. I just need the experience. So that's okay. That's all right. Like, gold-wise, it sucked, obviously. But, uh, you know, I just need the experience off of that. That's, that's not too bad. Um, let me just poke now. I am a little bit behind, obviously. Like, Tristana got a kill there, which sucked. But that was such a weird lane. Like, I don't really know what happened, honestly, in that lane. Uh, but yeah, Hecarim did kind of need to come a bit earlier because he got uh, spotted by the ward, I think. And then gave time for Zack to come down. Wow, I don't do any damage. Came... Really though, gave um, the Zach time to come down and like uh, counter it. I think I don't think he was there at the very start of that. I feel like he came down in reaction to Hecarim there. I don't know, like necessarily maybe he was there, but I think Hecarim was doing the crab which was seen on this ward here, so he knew that he was around. And obviously after that, like it was kind of you know Dunzo because of that. Um, but Trist, when he gets back, I assume is going to have a lot more damage here. I'm actually going to get boots. I don't normally get boosts on those real guys, know that, but I think I'm probably going to end up getting spanked now. And um, I can I can still farm with my tier, which is nice. I can farm from range. But I just want the boots to dodge the Velkos stuff. Uh, see, this is kind of really, really bad because um, Ludus put such a high priority on vision, which a plat 5 is not, like plat 4, whatever this is, that's not your priority. Your priority is fighting and actually making sure you win the lane. So... Her priority on it is like a, that's like a diamond one kind of level of, of stuff there. Um, and I don't think that really works at this elo. So she's actually like buying one potion at a time, whereas Velkos is buying like a lot more than that, like three. And um, yeah, you know, it's not really doing very much. Oh man, you can't go in there and just suicide either. That's not clever. Like, we can't fight for a pink ward, so I don't know. I'm not sure what that was all about, if I'm honest. Oh, damn. I should have dodged that. 
Got a little bit of, of poke onto them, but yeah, that was really strange. Don't I feel feel like she has a plan, but she kind of thinks she's like in diamond one. It doesn't really work like that this elo. You have to kind of you know like let's screw the ping. Like them having vision there is only a big thing if Hecarim comes in camps. These guys might be pre-made. Like I don't really know, but you know we've lost our tower now because of that. So we're gonna like not only is she getting a huge advantage, you know she's like getting all these towers and stuff as well and there isn't much i can do because i'm 1v2 so i'm just gonna chill for now and like i'm gonna try and do stuff if i can but like honestly most of this is gonna be now just on lulu to stop dying and kind of like pull her weight a bit more hopefully ish not really much i can do that 1v2 situation and lulu like you know hasn't she's got no damage she's got no health potions to trade with either so this is kind of spiraling out of control a little bit when she actually trades, it's, it's not that bad. It's just, you know, Velkoz is a better version of that at the moment. Oh, dude. We really need some help, like, now. Okay. Holy bollocks. They're level 6 and we're only level 5. What are you doing? Okay, there's the flash, though. Don't, don't carry on. Hello? You don't have any cooldowns. Nice, that's good at least. Okay, so she returned one. That's good. Nice. Um, I guess I just get like I don't I don't think I get anything to be honest. That was my fault for getting caught in the knock up though. 100%. Like I should not have got caught by that in the knock up. Um, she is old, so I think she might have this actually. But she is running through loads of minions here. I'm gonna have to send my ult down and see if I can catch her on that. Oh damn, I would have got that. I should have ulted a bit earlier, I guess. So Lily just got two kills. Let's see what she can turn it into because obviously I have lost a lot here. Um, I've like lost those minions experience and stuff. So I'm so far behind right now um, And yeah, I think like Shivana is getting spanked by Jax, which is not cool. Uh, we're losing really heavily So I need to step up a little bit. I don't feel like there's too much I can do at the moment though But maybe maybe I can turn this around. I'm playing Ezreal So if there's anyone like I know that I can still be relevant late game on it's gonna be this guy but it is going to be super hard because Triss has got like such a big lead. I really need to push this in, but I can't. So I'm just going to go back here and take these instead. Um, let's get this little one down and then we'll go and we'll take the stuff. So see what Lulu just got the support item. She's going so heavy. Like she gets no pots or anything and she just gets like pinks and stuff. This It's like it looks good, but like you have to use the advantage, right? Like she's not actually doing anything. So... Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like she's actually getting anything out of this right now. Um, which is really strange. I don't have my ult. This would be so good if I had my ult here. Oh, Lulu. She doesn't shield either. That's not cool, man. Oh, dude. Okay, I guess this game is just like maybe done so. I have no idea. I would love a team, though, that just like chills for two seconds. Let's play the game, man. Let's play the game. These guys are really not having good days, though. And now Mid's getting ganked as well, so even like, yeah, she's getting wrecked, unfortunately. I'm gonna try and just E over here and see if I can pick up the brand. I don't know if I'll be able to get him or not. I don't know how low he is. Okay, he's already out, I think. But we're, we're just, all of our lanes are just getting wrecked at the moment. And I, like, Zac is too tanky for me to deal with anyway, so I can't go in there. I have to be careful I don't get blown up by these guys. Um... Yeah, that early gank kind of spiraled out of control, but I feel like Lulu could have done more, so... I don't know, I'm, I'm Ezreal, like, I need a bit of time, you know? Oh, fuck. Yeah, Zach is coming in as well, so I have to flash this. Oh man, I missed. That's a passive, though, like, we should be able to get this, I think, maybe. Nope, okay, never mind then. I think he really gone in. I don't think Velka's really had any cooldowns, so we could have maybe done something there. This is kind of the problem with Lulu. I feel like she's kind of too team fight orientated unless you get a lot of damage early. And I don't think we had like any damage early uh, from her, so it just made it very difficult. But I still think we can turn this around. I don't know. I feel like we can turn this around. I'm just going to try and do something here. Okay, I'm dead. Rip. Oh, that's a flash though. Rip. He's gonna die for that, I think, but yeah, that's my bad. Holy, everybody just saw so much damage. Please, mercy. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, mini block, that's not cool either. He should get out of that though. 
All right, so I almost have this now. Maybe I can like stack my tier and make a miraculous comeback. Who knows? But um, it does not help. This guy is like taking all my farm either, unfortunately. Hello, you are a Lulu, my friend. That does not work that way. Uh, but yeah, so I guess so in this ain't the game so far. I really need this before I, be I leave base. By the way, I, I just can't like not leave with that. Like it'd be so bad. Yeah, so this uh. If future like taken from this game, like don't do what Lulu did and just like play for like vision and stuff. This is what happens. He's got 40 CS on me because he just pushes me into tower, and Velcos tries to blow us up and stuff. So this is like, I'm not gonna blame the entire thing on Lulu. I've taken like damage and stuff where I shouldn't have, and I just obviously died to Velcos there. But like, that kind of all snowballed from the terrible gank from um, Thingy, and. Uh, I mean, early lane phase was okay actually. It wasn't too bad really, but yeah, all kind of snowballed out of that. And, um, that Lulu's just not really managed to do anything at the moment. Like, I'm sure she'll do stuff eventually. Like, she just roamed there, which is good. That's a good start. I'm not actually going to go in for this. If she wants to... Whoa, that's a lot of damage, though. Okay. If I do... Whoa, hello? Okay. Oh, my God. I just used that on the minimap again. I've done that so many times recently. Don't take my farm, please. I'm so poor, mate. I'm so poor, thank you. So, by the way, if you don't know, um, Tristana gets a jump reset when she blows up her E. So, she got the she blew up her E on me, and then she got a jump reset again, so she could jump forward again. Which is, I kind of forgot at the time, which is why I was surprised when she jumped on me again. I wasn't really like looking for that at all. But um, yeah, I when I used my ult here, I aimed it. I I just flicked my cursor to the bottom bottom side here, over here. Like I don't know if you, yeah, you guys can see that behind my camera. I flicked it over here. And um, unfortunately, I must have flicked it like here on the mini map. I've done that a few times. I need to find a way if I can disable that or not. I don't know if I actually can disable that or not. But like, if I could, that would be really good because I've done that a few times when I play as now, which is not cool. Um, yeah. So if if like Shivana gets tanky, I think we actually do. You know, we stand a chance this game. Nice, there we go, that's a good start. Have oh, they got the, um, the, you know, Inferno Drake here? Oh, good. We could have, like, I think we could have done this now, but not anymore. If we'd have all gone in together, I think we could have done something, but, you know. Because, uh, Hecra multi down, we didn't really go together or anything, or we couldn't do much. I, I'm assuming this is warded, because Triss, like, just left randomly. It might not be actually, she might just be going bot for the farm because there's loads of farm there. Yeah, she just used for the farm. It's not too surprising actually. Uh, if I can catch back up farm wise and stuff, we might be alright. I'm just gonna stack my tier though. The sooner I get my tier, the sooner I stand a chance um, of doing something. But, hmm. This game is gonna be very tough. Dude, wait, whoa, what the fuck is that, dude? Okay. I mean, I don't think that's worth, to be honest, because I'm I'm not even worth that much gold, and she's worth a lot more than me, so... Uh, I mean, that, uh, in my opinion, that's pretty stupid. The thing she's doing, though, is, like, making sure that I don't... She's making sure I miss ex farming experience, so I guess, in a way, it's not as bad as it looks from her, but... I still think that's really rough, man. I don't think that's the best play she could be making at this point in the game. Uh, but I'm going to probably respect that a bit more now. If I'd have my uh, heal, though, she definitely could have killed me. So maybe she knows I don't have my heal. I don't know. But yeah, I think the more she does that, the, the worse that's going to get for her, in theory. And if I ever punish her for that and don't, like, die, you know, that would be, like, really, really bad for her. Training one for one, not good, but, like, not terrible either, I guess. That kill, I don't think I was worth very much gold, though. Like, I was uh, 0 and 2, 0 and 3 when she killed me. Because she killed me first, and then I picked up a kill, so really not worth very much gold. Let's see if I can hit anything with that, but I don't feel like I pull out so much damage, dude. Uh, Triss is still not here yet, but like. Oh, man. Triss is just. She's gonna keep trying. It's hard though because like I, 
it's just 1v1 down here, you know? Like, I don't know if... Okay, I'm gonna E before she sees me so she doesn't know I don't have my E. But she's just gonna... Okay, well, she's gonna do it anyway, I guess. Oh, man. Hey there. I guess... This is something I don't really, like... I didn't expect her to just rando in all the time, but, like, I guess that works, so... Oh, no, maybe not. She's gonna get away. She'll have a jump in a sec. That sucks. Alright, so what is actually gonna help me defend? I don't know. I have my heal now. I have my flash. I don't think she can kill me like that again. Maybe she can. Like, maybe she can just keep farming me on the tower, but... Damn, dude. This never happens. I don't get this fucked by an AD. Alright, I'm just gonna go mid then, I guess. She's freaking obsessed with pinks, man. Oh, that's probably a mistake jumping in there because Hecarim went the other way, but... If I was this brand, I would, like, sit here and just try and snipe me, so... I mean, we still... Hecarim does loads of damage. I'm still going to be relevant because I'm Ezreal, so even though I'm feeding my ass off, I'm not going to give up and we're going to try this game. We'll see what we can do. To be honest, it's really not working as having me down here, like, on my own. Really, though. Holy bollocks. Here's a rod. Okay, I did not expect that kind of damage. Oh, fuck. I'm getting boned, boys. This never happens. Like, not this bad, anyway. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Red buff. He's, she's dead, I think. Nice. So I just don't go bot, and I figure, why would they chase in that? Holy, really? Okay, uh, so let's just see what I can do. Oh, I need to stop sucking dick. That's what I need to do, really. Um, I can ult here and try and like push the wave out so that they don't get the entire tower, maybe? Oh, no, they had a cannon. I think they're going to get that anyway. Okay, if I can like start playing though, it's fine. At the moment, I'm just so weak though, I can't really do anything. And it is really, really like screwing now. Because I, I can't even do anything. I can't like help my team. I can't, you know, I can't get farm. I'm not strong enough to do anything. So it's really, really unfortunate. Normally, you know, I'm, even if my team are feeding, like I'm still going to be strong ish. But like, right now, I'm actually not. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. I guess we're not going that then. Pinks are not gonna win the game. Like I'm so far behind, I need gold. This she has such a bone of her vision, it's insane. But like vision just doesn't win when you're this far behind. Like you have to do other stuff first. All right, so I need to stop jumping in like that. I'm getting so desperate for kills and stuff. Like I just need to, yeah. I need to chill. Stop doing that stuff. Stop being an idiot. Because these guys are actually doing like reasonably well. So if I can like cut my crap now, we still have a, ch we still have a chance to win. Like I need to detail, just chill, farm a little bit. Like my farm is so bad, like 90. Because every time I'm go back to lane, I just don't, I don't have a lane to farm at the moment at all. Nice. That's actually good for us because she's now worth full gold. So she's just like farming, giving the Hecarim even more uh, gold now. Like Trisano died quite a few times in a row there. Please, Lulu, that's not good. I need the kill. I need the farm. I'm so bad. But yeah, every time I come back to lane, I get like maybe a wave or something. And then, you know, I can't do anything more. So I feel like we can actually maybe stop this. Hecarim doesn't have anything though. This fuck oh is fed as balls as well. At least everybody is fed on their team. And it's, it makes it harder for me when like I'm not, you know, I'm really not fed at all. Like not even close to it. So, it's hard, like, you know, it's hard to play against fed people normally. But if you're fed as well, it gets easier. Because I'm literally not even, like, I don't even have my two items yet. And they're cheap items. Like, it doesn't look as bad. But, like, these are cheap items for an AD to get uh, Man Immune in the Fist. And I'm still not, I haven't completed them yet. So, um, yeah. But I, I kind of, like, we should have adapted our play. Because I was getting boned every single time by this Tristan dive on tower. I knew it was coming as well because I said she's just going to dive me and I let her do it anyway because I didn't think she was actually balls enough to just go ham on the tower like from 
Okay, this is gonna become a problem though. Because he can just split push, and I feel like that's kind of gonna be where the game like ends, I guess. Um, if he can just split push and take towers and Shivana can't stop him at all, then I don't know what hope the rest of us have of doing anything. Like, we can hold off the other four maybe, but if this guy wins the 1v1, you know, we can't really get him to stop that, so I don't really know about that. Jesus, he does so much damage. I guess it's a Rylize. Yeah. Holy oh, Rylize. Alright, um... We definitely need to stop being towers, so that's one thing, I guess. I don't know how we stop being towers though when I'm, I'm bad and get screwed every year, right? That was not a good area either, unfortunately. Shivana's dying to Jax as well. She just needs to stand on the tower, man. Stand on the tower, don't die and it'll be okay. Hello? Why is he still pushing, man? This is so risky. He's on his own. The rest that we saw leave, they left for, uh, for the red buff. So... No, 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 They knew they were there as well. Okay, one for one. That's okay top lane, but this was not good. We saw them all there. Like, we knew they were coming, so that was really dumb. Lulu, hello. Why is Lulu top lane? Ah, dude, why? Oh, fuck. This is not good, though. I'm just going to ult and see if I can get anything here. They're just going to take this tower, I'm pretty sure. Like, I think they're just going to take this. I think they can really stop it. Right, we traded one for one there, but yeah. Trista saw so much, like, this, she should not be there. Oh, man, we're all so far behind, though, and I'm, I, wow, when was the last time I played this dog? Like, it's funny, because every single game I think we played recently where I've lost, I've actually played reasonably well. But this, I've just, like, this game I've just played so bad. Like, I don't play this bad normally. If we lose, it's normally because, you know, I'm, like, normally it's because I have a bad team, but today it's just been, like, I'm just terrible. Which is strange. But I still have time to recover, I think. I think. If I can get it transformed, I can do more damage. Like, Tristana is obviously very fed, but she only has two items, and I have two as well. Even though her two are obviously stronger than mine. Uh, it's not like... It's not the worst thing ever, I guess. She could be a lot more fed. She's probably going to go back and finish another item, I guess, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm being optimistic. We can maybe try, though. We can maybe try. We'll still have some fun. Maybe I can do something cool before the game ends. I would love to have some farm though. This is kind of bad though. She's really far behind Jack's name, just sat topple game. She's been really strange. I need to swap these over. Ori is one way we might get back into this game. Oh, okay, that's not cool. Uh, we just have to not die right now, I guess. I'm going to ward the blue tree and get for the Hecarim because he's in the jungle and like they could just be there right now. But I guess that Jack's with Bork and like, you know, Trist as well. Is this gonna take Baron quite quickly? So that doesn't really surprise me. We couldn't fight it anyway either, so it's not like it's the biggest deal in the world. Once I get this transformed, I might be able to come back and carry a bit, but it's gonna be really, really tough, I think. It is gonna be really tough. This guy is a monster as well. I don't even know if we can kill him, if I'm honest. He's probably gonna jump over the wall. Yeah. I can slow him, but like he's gonna try and kill me, I think. Okay, all that jump. No, he jumped to someone else. Oh my god, yeah. He definitely jumped to someone because he didn't even have a ward to jump to. But, yeah, they went in anyway. Ah, oh, damn. That's not good. This would be a really good Oriol, though. That's silver lining. If it happened, I mean. But, yeah. I'm just going to flash this. So you guys should dive me 100% and get away with it? Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna try and stand here. I can't, like, you know, run, so. Damn, man. The first time I actually fed my ass off, like. Uh, it's really hard playing in a game like that when you just get screwed and, like, Lulu came back to lane and just died instantly. The gank really kind of ruined it from that perspective, and then the other lane is just lost. But, like, you know, I should have been able to recover. Like, I died too many times to Shrasana. I made it worse when I could have maybe recovered. I mean, I still think we have a chance, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. Hecarim's going to have to get on and, like, kill... Yeah, well, not do that, I guess. <laughs> Shivana's about as useful as, like, a wet flannel. Like, she doesn't do anything. Yeah, there we go. 
<laughs> she literally does not do anything. She is really useless. Like, even more useless than me, honestly. Ha! <laughs> okay, one combo dead. Alright, nice, nice, nice. At least Lulu went top lane though, right? You dumbass. She's always just a little bit too late. Ah. Oh. Okay, well that's nice. Well, we lost three in it. I think this game might be done so, boys. I think we might be done so, boys. I don't know. Maybe we make a miraculous comeback, but this Velkos is a freaking beast. And so, yeah. And but Jax is a monster. Like, no dealing with this Jax, so. Oh, damn. Here he goes. Here he goes. Go on, I believe, guys. I believe, Hecarim. I believe, dude. There's no... Okay, wait. Tristan is there as well now. Tristan is there as well now, boys. Oh, this is not good. He's just taking the Indian, but I'm going to leave, I think. But yeah, we have to try and defend these things. Okay, well, three inhibs down. I mean, it could be worse, right? We could have lost. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, that's not too bad, but yeah. Dude, I hate playing with Lilies, man. They're like, they're up there on the Janna list. They just don't, I just don't feel like they offer anything in the lane phase, man. Like, I don't know what they do. Like, Veil causes so much damage and it set up so many, like... Tristan didn't really do anything early. Like, the, um... What do you call it? The, uh... Veil cause just, like, screwed everything. It was really hard to play against that. But then, and I just, on the other side, I just feel like Lulu didn't really offer anything. Like, I was kind of 1v2 in a lot of the lanes. She died defending her pink, which is dumb. But, like, the, the level 1 Hecarim thingy... The, the early lane phase was the weirdest thing I've ever seen, like... I don't understand what happened with that lane phase, if I'm honest, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's unfair to blame the Lulu. I don't know. It's, it's hard to see in game what went well and what went wrong and stuff, but okay, we should be able to kill this guy. Maybe. I know everyone's here. We're going to have to fight. This is the thing. When you're three inhibs down, you can't actually let them just push in and stuff. If you let them push in, um, they just like end the game, so we have to actually fight. Like, we have to go and try and, and do something before they get to our, um, yeah, before they get to our towers. Like, we have to go in now. I don't even do anything that this spell cause at all, though. I guess we just lose. They don't seem to want to fight. I can't even get through the freaking support, boys. Holy moly. Damn, dude. Please, no. R.I.P. Holy fuck. I don't think I've been wrecked that much in a game in a long, long time. Probably going to get demoted out of that as well, I think. Holy fuck. I, I, I mean, if I get demoted, I deserve to get demoted out of this one. I didn't. Wow, that's actually crazy. But holy balls. I don't think I've ever played that badly. Ever. But... Their entire team got, like, super fed, so it was one of those games where I think if we'd have been the only one that lost, I could have come back in the game, but because Triss could sit there and just punish me on the tower, like, over and over and over, like, that doesn't happen in a normal game. It happened because we had, like, Hecarim was behind, um, the brand, like, was pushing in mid, Lulu wasn't around to do anything, like, we had no lane pressure, right, so I guess it just became worse than it actually was. But, um, yeah, I have no words, honestly, boys. I'm so sorry, that was absolutely terrible. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyway, and uh, at least we stayed happy, right? At least there's one thing, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.